A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn, Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you, and they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from Revelation 5, 1-10. We hear about a scroll which is written on all sides and sealed with seven seals. Now normally we think of a scroll as a cylindrical tube, but that doesn't fit the description here. This scroll is more likely formed like a Roman will, which was folded in half and sealed, folded in half and sealed, folded in half and sealed seven times, so that each time that you broke one of the seals, a portion of what was written on it would be visible. And what was written on it? God's eternal will for this people. Well, who is it who's able to open the scroll? The Lion of Judah. This is a symbol for the Messiah. We also hear that this lion of the tribe of Judah is the root of David. Interestingly enough, he's not called the shoot of David, he's called the root, because he existed before David existed. Furthermore, we hear that this lion is really a lamb. In that one verse, it transforms the image completely, because usually when we hear about a lion, we think of a ferocious animal that goes out conquering and killing. But this lion becomes a lamb, and by its humility, by its meekness, it destroys evil. 
It receives the scroll and is able to open the seals. He came and received the scroll in his right hand. Now the very idea of a lamb that's holding a scroll when it doesn't have an opposable thumb, don't even go there. This is Hebrew symbolism. We're supposed to understand the meaning of it and not get too involved with the strange details. For example, this lamb has seven horns and seven eyes. It looks like it was grazing a little too close to Chernobyl or something. Well, horns stand for authority. Seven horns means it has all authority in heaven and on earth. And I stands for the gift of the Holy Spirit. This lamb is overflowing with the Holy Spirit. This is the lamb of God who was slain and who rose from the dead. Notice the lamb is standing, has all authority in heaven and on earth, and gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gospel comes from Luke 19, 41 to 44. In this passage, Jesus weeps over Jerusalem because it wasn't ready to accept him. And he predicts that it would be besieged and overthrown. Now the very description of how it was besieged could be from the mouth of Jesus, or it could be some added detail that came post factum. The description is very, very close to what actually happened in 70. So even though Jesus predicted that the city would be overthrown, some of the details might have been added by Luke the Evangelist after it happened and put into Jesus' mouth. I'm not saying he didn't predict that it happened, just that the details are very specific, very detailed. And may God bless us.